Hello and welcome to the 43rd tutorial in the Bootstrap Free series. In this part we're going to be looking at breadcrumbs. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have looked at the grid system that Bootstrap provides, plus the rows and columns. But Bootstrap doesn't finish there. No, it doesn't indeed. It provides several UI components to help create that awesome website. We will now take a look at the breadcrumbs feature, which essentially provides a means for displaying navigational hierarchy. It's features like this one that makes Bootstrap so cool. Not only does it do the big things like the grid really well, but the small things as well which helps you save time, which inevitably add up and help you make more money. Essentially that's what you're here for, to learn programming or learn Bootstrap so you can make websites for clients or get a job so you can make more money. So Bootstrap like everything else makes it super easy, so let's just open up our index.html in a text editor. And what we're going to do, we're just going to put it after our row. We can put it within the row as an extra task. Actually put it inside the row and see how it looks. So to do this, you do a ordered list. And the ordered list has a class of bread crumb. And inside here we have list items. And inside each list item, what we're going to put is just a href. We're going to make it do nothing, but you'll see when you when you visually see it, you'll understand the type of functionality that you would need to add for your website. So I'm just going to put C. So we're sort of representing a computer hierarchy, Windows computer hierarchy, that is. And I'm going to for this, I'm going to put program files. Also going to put a class of active. This is something that's built into Bootstrap. We're not coding it ourselves. So you don't need to worry about that. And we're actually going to remove the ahref, and you'll see why in a second. For this, we're just going to put sonar learning. Save that. And now, if we run this in our web browser, we have our breadcrumbs so you can see now what breadcrumbs are it allows you to display the hierarchy of directories so you see drive program files then this suggests you're in a folder called sonar learning again again this is something that we're just putting code this doesn't really mean anything at the moment but naturally depending on where you're in your website maybe you're using jquery php with ajax you'll want to show them where you're where you are in the website so if i was to let's say click program files It'll go back a page for example. If I click C, it'll go back two pages or two folders for example. The next tutorial will cover pagination. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or the required source code will be in the description. To see hundreds of more videos like this one completely free, visit sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.